Hello, welcome everyone. Thank you for joining us for this DMU live stream. Uh, we're going to be talking to you today about the Faculty of Health and Life Sciences. So hopefully you'll be able to find out lots more information um, about what we do, what we have on offer here in the faculty, um, and of course, ask us your questions. Um, I am delighted to be joined by the Associate Dean for International Study as well. And together, we hope to give you lots more information today. You can interact with us throughout this live stream. So please do drop us a comment if you have a question. Um, maybe you're due to start with us in the next couple of weeks or um, you're thinking about applying to us. Um, drop them in the chat box and we'll gladly try and answer those for you um, towards the end of the live stream. Um, it would also be great just to find out where you're joining us from today. So um, if you want to let us know which part of the world uh, you are listening to us from, that'd be great as well. Um, as you know, we are based in Leicester in the UK and currently it's a bit of a sort of dull rainy day at the moment, lots of thunderstorms. So if you are somewhere tropical and lovely, uh, then please make us jealous, let us know where you are. So just sit back, listen in and we shall begin the live stream. So before I do hand over to my colleague, I'm just going to play a very short video, um, just as a little introduction um, to, to the faculty from our Dean, um, Dr. Simon Oldroyd. So I shall play that and then we'll be back with you shortly after. Hello, I'm Simon Oldroyd, Dean of the Faculty of Health and Life Sciences here at DMU. The Faculty of Health and Life Sciences at DMU brings together high quality education, industry links and specialist teaching. It's home to our wide range of pharmaceutical, healthcare, lab-based and social science courses, which aim to improve the lives and health of those around us. Many of our courses are professionally accredited or endorsed by professional bodies, meaning you can be assured of receiving teaching of the highest quality with a focus on building the skills which are really sought by employers. Behind me, you can see the 19th century Hawthorne building, which has facilities designed to replicate current practice in health and life sciences, including contemporary analytical chemistry and formulation laboratories, audiology booths, nursing and midwifery clinical skill suites. Our recent addition of a new radiography suite simulates real world settings, allowing you to put theory into practice. Integrated placements, optional work experience and voluntary opportunities also provide you with the chance to learn from professionals in the sector. Our students have already benefited from placements at schools, in community centres, the NHS, and major pharmaceutical companies, law enforcement agencies, and community pharmacies. Alongside employability, we pride ourselves in producing graduates who are able to work as part of an interprofessional team. And we have teaching designed to embed this throughout your time with us to further enhance your career prospects. Our graduates go on to secure jobs in globally recognized companies, including GSK, AstraZeneca, LGC Forensics, Boots, 3M, the Ministry of Defense, as well as the, as the NHS. I hope I've provided a flavor of health and life sciences and the community that you could be a part of. We look forward to seeing you soon. Okay, well, we hope you enjoyed that very short video. Um, as again, that was from our Dean of Faculty, um, Dr. Simon Oldroyd. And there you were able to see some of the fantastic, fantastic facilities and resources that we have on offer here in the faculty. So what I'm going to do now, I'm delighted to hand over to my colleague, um, Jonathan, who is just going to give some more information, sort of build upon that video that we've seen um, and obviously talk a little bit more about what we have to offer here um, in the Faculty for International Students. So, John, you want to give a quick introduction as to who you are and then we'll get on to your PowerPoint. Yeah, sure thing. So good afternoon, good morning, uh, good evening, wherever you are in the world. Uh, yeah, pleasure to meet you all. Pleasure to be here today. Uh, so my name's John or Jonathan Fisher-Jones. I'm the Associate Dean International uh, for the Faculty of Health and Life Science, um, which means I look after everything essentially from overseas student recruitment, uh, transnational education partnerships, I facilitate international research and all of the student and staff international mobility, such as DMU Global that we partake. I've been at De Montfort University for five years, uh, five years next month, actually. So I'm well versed in what we do, what the changes have been. So any questions, please do pop them in the comments box and I'm sure Vanessa will pick them out and ask me them later. So yeah, thank you, Vanessa. Yeah, brilliant. Thanks, John. Okay, so I'm gonna just um, load your presentation and you'll just talk us through some of the main highlights of the faculty. 
Fantastic. Thank you, Vanessa. And yeah, everybody, I'll try and keep this as short as humanly possible. So there's more time for actual questions because um, I'm sure, you know, uh, I can give you the basic overview, but there'll be some specific things you, you want to know about later. So obviously, De Montfort University, based in Leicester, um, established in 1872, I believe. But the first courses that we as a faculty started to offer were in 1909 which was when we established our first school of pharmacy. So, you know, well over 100 years old. Um, we've got within the faculty, we've got four different schools around uh, 6,000 students. So between us and business and law were the two biggest faculties in the university and are within the four different schools. I'll go into more detail in a minute. We have a broad range from nursing to pharmacy, to biomedical sciences, to uh, the social science as well, such as you know, criminology, psychology, et cetera. Very lucky within our, within our faculty. Whilst sometimes the IELTS may be a little bit tougher than other courses, or the entry criteria may be a little bit more strict, um, this is down to the fact that you know a lot of our courses are regulated by different governing bodies so when you come out you're far more likely to to get a job that is recognized and also it shows that the quality of our education is not only the quality of dmu's education it's also good enough for some of the professions and when you think of how strict these professions are with people going into work with the NHS or within pharmaceuticals. It's really important that our standards are at the most high. Uh, next slide, please, Vanessa. So we're very lucky again, obviously through uh, our courses being highly regulated, a lot of our courses as well offer different placements and we really do boast a humongous link to industry that I think is very rare for most different courses. Um, You've seen over the past, you know, two and a half years, however long this uh, the world has been crazy for, um, the absolute need and want for the professions within the health and life science industry. So our students throughout the pandemic have been working incredibly hard, uh, you know, within the hospitals, within the uh, drug facilities, uh, giving out vaccines, etc. So what I'll go into now is the four different uh, schools that we have that teach. Uh, the first one being the Leicester School of Nursing and Midwifery. Um, so here we we are currently only open to adult nursing, BSc. Um, but as you'll know, there aren't that many universities within the UK that um, are open to overseas students, uh, non-domiciled UK overseas students. Um, so this is the fully accredited course. It's adult nursing BSc with honours uh, that is fully registered with the um, with the NMC, which is the Nursing and Midwifery Council. With this, obviously, it's a hugely practical course. Um, so about 50% of your time is spent in the university and about 50% is actually on placement. So when you come out of this, you are perfectly qualified to work within the NHS or possibly transfer it to your home country. Um, but the current um, the current employability rates for you know our nursing course are 100 percent. So it gives you a great opportunity to further the study, especially with the um, the post study work visa now coming back into play. It gives truly wonderful opportunities for for people to come live, work in the UK and contribute to to the National Health Service. Uh, next slide, please. So our School of Allied Health Science is uh, one of our bigger schools, especially for overseas students. Uh, you'll know with biomedical science, it's obviously a hugely popular course. This year, uh, we should be enrolling around 35 overseas students just on that course alone. Um, we have a couple of students every now and then uh, going on to you know, postgraduate medicine, both from the biomedical and medical science courses. Um, you obviously have to be strong candidates to get into one of the 16 UK universities for postgraduate medicine. However, there are lots of different options internationally. Uh, biomedical science and medical science have, uh, are the two most popular ones. And all of these courses, I must add actually, that we actually have a international year zero which is the equivalent of our foundation course run by Oxford International, which is right on the middle of our campus. So 
you know, there, there are different options if you are not eligible to get straight on to the undergraduate course. Our postgraduate courses as well, Advanced Biomedical Science, which is being hugely successful at the moment, which is mainly a, an array of international students that really, really contribute to the uh, dynamic nature of that course. It's a really broad course as well. There's lots of different opportunities for the student to specialise in the different aspects of the sciences that they wish for. And we also have our Global Health MA. So we've just, or we're just about to graduate our first cohort. So this is the second year intake for Global Health, a humongous postgraduate course as well, which has been incredibly successful. Uh, a normal postgraduate course that's healthy is probably 20 to 30 students. At Global Health this year, we're hoping to enroll about 150. So it's a humongous course, which gives a great amount of dynamism, different people from different countries to share their experiences. You know, some will have come straight out of education, others from a professional industry. Uh, so it really does add to the, the, the makeup and the interesting critical approach we can take to the international healthcare industry. Uh, next slide, please. Now, uh, the Leicester School of Pharmacy, again, established in 1909. Uh, so we obviously have the International Year Zero for Pharmacy run by Oxford International again. And our flagship course, one of the, the most prestigious courses within the university is our MPharm. Um, again, we have higher IELTS with that that you need to attain. Um, you have to pass an interview to get onto the course. There are, it's a big course, but there are still limited numbers of uh, places down to placement capacity. And it, with it being so highly regulated, uh, the M Farm is a truly wonderful course that boasts uh, normally between a 98 and 100% employability statistic. Um, and obviously the jobs people go into are in, in, in good jobs. You know, they're not sort of the basic graduate jobs. They're, they're, they're things that lead on to humongously financially lucrative uh, aspects. We have our pharmaceutical sciences, BSc, uh, which is actually a top up year. So you can come into year three on that and get that big British uh, degree, BSc honours, tick in the box. Our pharmaceutical and cosmetic science course, which is an incredibly unique course. There's only two other courses in the whole of the UK with the same name. Uh, one is University of Arts and the other one escapes me now, actually. But this is truly the only one that has uh, the industry connections and is based around a scientific aspect, not the aesthetic or the visual aspect of it. Um, we're very lucky to have that course. And obviously we have huge links to many companies across the world with that. Forensic Science is an amazing course. It's like our uh, CSI uh, Leicester, if you remember that from when it was popular. And then we've got our postgraduate portfolio, the Pharmaceutical Biotechnology, which is um, our big um, postgraduate pharmacy course, and then Pharmaceutical Quality by Design, which essentially looks at the manufacturing process of pharmaceuticals. So whether you, um, how you improve, how you streamline, which not only leads on to fantastic jobs in the pharmaceutical industry, where a lot of our students go on to work, uh, the streamlining of any process means you can work at any major company and having that basic knowledge, if you were to work at a government agency, for instance, possibly not to do with pharmaceutics, but the actual core knowledge of improving a timeline or a process is vitally important to, to most any career. Uh, the next one, please, Vanessa. And now we go on to our biggest school uh, within the faculty. Uh, so these are our applied social sciences. So we have our criminology and education studies, which are reasonably popular with overseas, but obviously psychology is a big hitter. On all of the different psychology courses we run, uh, we have over uh, approximately about 1,000 students studying. Um, so a humongous course offers lots of flexibility for further study and for jobs after. Education practice, obviously the MA is um, slightly more difficult to get onto, but we've been re working really hard recently to make it more accessible for overseas students. It used to be quite a UK focused course that looked at the UK system. Over the past three or four years, we've been able to change it so it gives a really international outlook to the education industry. And uh, yeah, the next one, please, Vanessa.
Um, so I mentioned before about the accredited bodies such as uh, BPS, which is British Psychological Society or Institute of Biomedical Science or the Nursing and Midwifery Council. Uh, I think I've spoken about that quite enough. However, what I'd like to just mention are the two types of academics or the two types of teachers, your lecturers that you'll have in, in the faculty. The vast majority of them are either incredibly research active which means that they're developing what will happen over the next couple of years in regards to the direction that your subject will be going, which means you will always be on the forefront and never, you know, a couple of years behind the curve on what's being taught and what's being developed. Alongside that, we also have a lot of industry professionals. It gives you a totally different aspect, a more realistic approach rather than you know, just pure lecturers that have never been there and done that. So we've got a wonderful balance of not only the industrial insight, but also the cutting edge aspects of uh, research active staff. Um, we're lucky as well. We've got, you know, the university, uh, universal design for learning, uh, which underpins all of our teaching. So regardless of what country you're from, if you struggle in any way through disability or financial or background of a uh, race, creed, color, absolutely everything. We are there to welcome you. Uh, Leicester itself, which I'll get onto in a moment, is, um, is a truly dynamic, open and diverse city. And we want to incorporate that with all of our teaching. So if you're struggling, oh, we'll go on to the next slide if that's okay, Vanessa. I think there's more information here. Thank you. Yeah, we have all of these systems in place to support you because it's one thing taking a step up from either your high school to an undergraduate course or even undergraduate to postgraduate. It is a big step. And when you combine that with possibly studying with a different language, with a different culture, you know, uh, on your own. I mean, I've lived overseas and where to go to the shops and things or making new friendship groups is a big deal. So we don't want you to be struggling when you're in the UK. So we have every week you have one to one access to a personal tutor, which is a minimum of one hour. We say that it's a minimum. A lot of our lecturers are more than happy for you to knock on their door and they want to support you. They want to further your education. They want to be there so you get the best outcomes for you, for them. It's very rewarding when we see you walk across the stage three, four years later and pick up your certificate with a big smile on your face going on to new and wonderful adventures. Uh, so we have that and we have the Student Advice Centre that is open, you know, from nine to five, uh, five days a week um, to give you the support and point you in the right direction if you're ever having issues with finance or or accommodation or absolutely anything or just your mental health you're feeling a bit low and you you need somebody to look after you and and support you uh, we're there for you thank you Vanessa the next one which is uh our employability so yeah we this is our flagship I think this is possibly what we're known best for this along with our diversity and inclusion you know to be awarded you know as having the best university careers and employability service is is a huge achievement when i look at why you want to come to university especially international universities i think there are three factors you want to come you want the experience you want to enjoy it you want to learn lots but fundamentally you want this to better you you want to get a better job and more access to um incredible incredible options for your future different pathways more more doors opening so our employability service are there once you've graduated even if you're even if you graduated 30 years ago uh, you can still give us a ring and we can still help you with your CV, interview practice, absolutely everything. Our career service is always there for you. And then, yeah, our city. So one of the most unique things, I guess, is our city. There's only two universities in Leicester. And Leicester was the, you know, the, the first city in Europe, at least, possibly the world, to be plural. So it's not dominated by one ethnicity, one race, one religion. It's a humongous mixture of everyone. Um, you know, it's got there's a road called um, Narborough Road that has the most languages spoken on it in the whole world, which is just around the corner from 
uh, from the university. Not only that, if you want some of your home comforts, whether that be local food, you know, there are proper Indian restaurants run by Indian families. There are Chinese restaurants where the menu's in Chinese and it's not all a westernized or British take on it. We have absolutely every community here that um, will make you feel a little bit more at home. We've also got a fantastic football team, fantastic rugby team, great music scene. There's live music, lots and lots and lots of places. Bands such as Kasabian come from Leicester and you're only one hour from, from, uh, from London on a train. Within within about a twenty minute radius, half an hour radius, you've got another you've got another five or six big cities. You know, Birmingham just around the corner, Nottingham up the road. So there's so much opportunity for adventure. Um, yeah, we're we're really lucky, and the campus is right in the middle of the city as well. It, I'm sure it says somewhere a ten minute walk, but a uh, five minute walks from the city centre. Yeah, I wouldn't I wouldn't even say it's that. Maybe it's because I've got longer legs. Um, but you're basically in the city centre on the campus, and it's a beautiful campus as well. Uh, next slide, please, Vanessa. So sustainability, uh, what we are, we are the lead institute for the UN uh, campaign of Join Together. So we, you know, we are part of the United Nations Sustainability Development. So everything we do at the university is embedded within the curriculum to be sustainable. and define the objectives uh you know for we are a, a university we're not just a further education establishment so we're trying to make a humongous change to the world you look at the work we've done in comes to mind amdabad the we've sent architecture students over there to prevent or to create um uh, you know uh, houses that have been affected by flood, uh, flooding to to be more sustainable in the community we send nurses out uh to different parts of the world to you know uh talk about things give checkups give uh, we have audiologists doing hearing aid examinations in different parts of the world you know everything we do is for the betterment of people well that's what we should be doing all the time so we look towards poverty hunger health education climate change and social justice so that's a core theme that runs through all of our curriculum and all of our courses uh and vanessa i think we've got one more slide with the contact details. So if you want to follow us on Twitter, it's at DMUHLS, which I believe Vanessa and her team pick up. Instagram, DMUHLS, YouTube, Health and Life Science, and we've got a LinkedIn page as well. Um, so yeah, Vanessa, thank you very, very much. Brilliant, thank you so much, Jonathan, for that really informative um, and detailed oversight of what we offer here in Health and Life Sciences and what we stand for. Um, we've got loads of questions that have been flying in, which is great, so we'll, um, have a quick look through some of those now. Um, I will point out from the beginning though that um, some of these might be admissions related queries, which I'm sure John, Jonathan might be able to sort of help a little bit, but obviously we do have an admissions team. So um, what I will do is I will post an, in, uh, an email address for you to be able to get in touch. If it's something relating to uh, an admissions query, we'll try our best to answer it. If not, you can email us um, and um, we'll get them passed on to you. So let me just have a look at what we've got, um, just to see if we can answer any of these. So, um, I know the, the answer to this one because um, so I've just spoken to the programme leader and for, for this year's intake, we're expecting around about 30 students to enrol onto the um, MA in social work programme. So I hope that answers your question. Um, I will point out though that the um, MA is not open for international students. So it's just for, for home domicile students only. Um, next question don't know if you all know the answer to this one john but we'll probably i don't i don't know what the ospap qualification is do you know uh yeah i do and it's it's only available through the full course i'm afraid we don't do any uh, well there are several shorter courses unfortunately none of them are actually aimed towards that within pharmacy but a lot of our shorter courses are only open to well they're open to overseas but only through partner companies we work with um, so there are a lot of shorter courses that are designed specifically for different companies. So, yeah, um, I'm afraid the answer is broadly no, um, unless you work for a company that partners with us, whether that be Specsavers or Boots Pharmacists or someone like that. Brilliant. Thank you, John, for that knowledge. Um, another question here from Nonze. Didn't quite get the gist about studying nursing at DME and what the requirements are for international students. 
Um, yeah, so the overseas students can absolutely study uh, nursing. There are limited spaces. I think it's um, 10, it's possibly 15 spaces we have for overseas per year on nursing. Because again, it's we're only allowed to take X amount of students per course for nursing because they need placements within the various hospitals, whether that be Leicester or Nottingham. Um, the entry criteria, I'm not going to say it here in case I get it wrong, but it is on the website. So yeah. I've just what... posted the link for the course page as well in the chat. So um, Alonso, if you're still listening, go and check out the web page. There is a section on there. If you click on the tab for international um, students, it will detail what, what we're yeah. looking for. But again, I'd yeah, thank you, Vanessa. What I'd like to reinforce are, are not many UK universities that offer this with the NMC registration, which is absolutely necessary. If you want to work in the UK as a nurse, you need you need the, the registered course. Uh, we offer it here. Brilliant. Thank you, John. Um, a question from John. John, can one start the course online as I wait for the late visa assurance early November? Um, so we have been as flexible as possible obviously with um with covid uh, with different restrictions coming in over the past two years um what we're doing the last two years we've done it as a blanket where with some courses we've said okay you can study online for the first term however as covid is easing we've stopped that because it it just wasn't good for the students it wasn't good for their academic outcomes we we want you to be here. So what we're doing at the moment, John John, um, which is a very good name, double as good as mine, is we're looking at it on a case by case basis. So if you could email um, Vanessa's team, it will get passed on to me. Um, I'll be able to pass it on to the team and we'll talk through it uh, because we're knowing at the moment, I'm assuming either you're from India or Nigeria by the by the late visa issues, um, which we know has been problematic for a couple of our key, key, you know, key uh, countries. So, if you can get in touch with us, we look at it on a one-by-one -one basis. And then, we'll just take, this is the last question, John. So, is the support available to help with your English language skills when they get to the MU? Absolutely, yes. Um, so, obviously, you've, you've come and you've got the required IELTS for your visa and for the course. However, it's still it's still different. It's still difficult. Um, so, yeah, we've got in sessional English here. So we've got at one of the, uh, the the support center I spoke about before actually does uh, extra English tuition while you're here. It's all free of charge. So or if sorry, it may be 30 pound a month. It's really not a humongous cost. Uh, but yeah, the, the support is here to help with your English when you're here. And what you'll find, um, and what I always implore is try and make friends who are not only from your culture, speak, oh, you're going dark there, Vanessa. <laughs> um, yeah, um, and what we, what we think normally your English, every term will improve by a 0.5 of an IELTS. That's what we predict just by studying and being around the English language. That's what we normally think. But in particular, the academic support on your English is hugely important. It's one thing having a conversation, it's another thing writing an academic essay that has lots of unique terminology, especially in the sciences. So yeah, it's it's absolutely here for you. Brilliant. Thank you so much for that, John. Um, the email address for you just to get in touch with is, so if um, you still have questions following the live stream or um, if you've got something that you would like to ask with relation to admissions, then you can get in touch with us at the email address there and we will forward that on um, to the relevant people who will get back in touch with you uh, and hopefully carry the conversation on a bit more. So we've come to the end of our allotted time now for our live stream. So thank you very much for everybody that's been listening to us. Um, my thanks to Jonathan for coming along and supporting me today and um, delivering some information. Um, we're going to end just on a very short video clip, um, just with some further information about um, studying as an international student. So thank you once again, and we hope to see you at De Montfort University very soon. Thank you. Bye bye, everyone.
Deciding to study overseas is a huge life-changing decision with really, really exciting possibilities. What you need to make sure you do is research all aspects of that decision before you decide which university to apply to. Research the course, research the campus, research the student experience, research the student support, and also research the accreditations and graduate destinations of students from that university. GMU is situated in the multicultural and welcoming city of Leicester, which is just over an hour away from London. DMU itself boasts over 300 courses at foundation, undergraduate and postgraduate level, lots of which offer professional accreditations, linked to industry and the opportunity to undergo placement years. Each year, more than 2,700 international students from over 130 different countries choose to come and study with us. Our dedicated Centre for English Language Learning offers a range of courses to help you with your English both before you start and during your studies. It's accredited by the British Council for its quality of teaching, so it's guaranteed to be a strong support for your English language development throughout your time at De Montfort University. Here at DMU, we're keen to support you through your application journey to studying with us in the future. Check out our website for loads more information about fees and scholarships, about international student support, and find our chat with the student section when you can talk to current international students about their experience at DMU, and they can talk firsthand to you about applying from overseas to study with ourselves here at the university. DMU is a campus-based university with everything all conveniently located on one site. All of our 10 Hall of Residents are also within walking distance of the DMU campus. Leicester City Centre is also only 10 minutes away by foot, offering shops, restaurants, bars, a whole wealth of cultural experiences and the opportunity to work part-time as well. If you are interested in applying, please check out our how-to guide. And if you need any more support, please check out our international student support page.